Thank you, thank you, thank you, pray the Lord. His name will be multiplied. Thank you, give to glory to the Lord. We serve. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Powerful, powerful of God is going upon to you. Through my message, I'm going to preach. Yeah, thank you. Our Christian life begins with faith and ends with faith. This faith, I know you believe in faith to the Lord, strong faith, God. Look at the, your face. You will live. Thank you. Moreover, <coughs> we need to have absolutely positive face. Positive face. We serve. Negative people got. That's not usual. We have to always think all positively, not negatively. Speak positively. Act positively. Look at the positively. Mm -hmm. Everything positively. We have to do. God, look at your face. That positive face you want to serve to the Lord. God does not work with the negative people. No. All people in the Bible. God used to those people had positive face. God. God used to those person get strong face in positive. God speak to people of positive face. Yeah. I oh, have to pray to the Lord, oh, help me, not negative mind, negative speaking, but to live with absolutely positivity, absolutely gratitude, oh, hallelujah. Absolutely uh, face positively. Oh, give glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. When we become the people of positive face, God's wonderful grace. And the blessing will come upon to you. I believe. Positive face, positive thinking, positive attitude, positive act to do for the God's work. God will look at and God is going to blessing. God will give it to grace. God will going to use whatever you want to do the, for the God's work. God will guide to you every Wait, that guy will lead. You should go. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. Can I have an amen? <clears throat> Here is a, uh, the man who had a positive face that I'm going to introduce to this man. You know, his name is Padimeo. He was a Blind beggar. 
e é de experience an amazing grace of God amazing bidok he had experience because he got the positive face toward the Lord. You can see. I want to tell you what he did to the Jesus Christ. And we see his face. Jesus Christ, he believed. He was uh, able to see uh, again when he marched forward with a positive face. Oh, hallelujah. He honestly cried out to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, God pour out his grace to him who cry out to the Jesus. Hmm. He always this was seeking to Jesus to be healed, to open his eyes again that he believed Jesus Christ going to heal and open his eyes. Oh, yeah, I want to pick up the passage, Proverbs 8, chapter 17. I love those who love me and seek me, find me, just like you. I know you are seeking the Lord every time I am doing now, you will be found. Jesus, your Savior, who is going to heal your sickness, to solve your problem, read everywhere you should go. Oh, hallelujah. That is our Lord Jesus Christ. We believe in ours. Almighty God, Lord God, going to help you. Going, going, going to encourage you. Whatever you're going to do there, God is with you. Hallelujah. Oh, we need... <coughs> To have the face which we honestly cry out like Padmeo, blind man, blind beggar. Padmeo could not see from birth. When he was born, he could not see, he was blind natively. So he was living in the life of a beggar all his life until he rested his sight by Jesus Christ. You can see what he did. Padimeo, let me tell you, Padimeo Oh, represent those of us 
we have left God, don't know Jesus Christ. Yeah. We are born spiritually blind. I'm talking to the spiritual. We are born spiritually blind, not physical blind. And live in despair. We didn't have in hope. We will, yeah, I, you, have been lived to uh, no hope. We live the edge we want. Hmm? But now we opened our spiritually. We know what God pour out to, to, to hope we looking for the eternal life and truth. We didn't know before, and we set free by true Jesus open new world by believing Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. You set you free. You opened our spiritual eyes. Right? You. You make me know that I have to go eternal life. I didn't know. I, w I walked in darkness, but I see the light, light, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. I should go. Thank you, Lord. That's why I understand the Padimeo. He found the truth and find Jesus Christ who heals his eyes physically, spiritually. Of course, he found everlasting life. When he had met Jesus Christ. Mm, oh, look at, look at the, look at the Padimeo. Where he cry out to the Lord. Mm. One day, Padimeo something caught his attention. He heard, he heard what people were saying in the street. They were saying, there is a man called Jesus who heals every disease. He had heard what they are talking about. Jesus Christ. At that moment, <clears throat> oh, listen, my brother and sister, at that moment, one moment, you heard about the Jesus Christ who heals every disease. You know, he got hope. He thought, I will be healed if I see Jesus. If I meet Jesus, my eyes will be opened. My sight will be restored by the power of Jesus Christ. If 
I see, I want to see to Jesus. I want to look at the Jesus. I will hold the Jesus. Yeah. He made a mind when he had a hold about Jesus. Bible say face comes hearing. Hearing is word of God. Romans 10, chapter 17. He heard, but he heard. His face is it explodes in his mind. He got the tremendous hope he had never ever thought of before. Now, his hope overflowed, thinking Jesus Christ who going to heal his eyes. Hallelujah, pray the Lord. Yeah. When we I, 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 I want to tell you. Oh, hallelujah. I want to tell you this. Yeah, I, I would just speak this. This is, uh, is, the, is my point. I, I, I want to speak through this message. When we listen to the word, word of God, like, uh, pardon me, the word of Jesus Christ. When we, we listen to gospel, that Jesus Christ is our Savior. Jesus Christ is the all, only answer your problem. Jesus Christ, our everything can solve our problem we have. We couldn't do the anything by ourselves. We will be lift up our face explode and going to look at the Jesus Christ like a body meal. And we are expecting that miracle will happen for us that God going to perform the miracle. We never expect it comes to you. We are when we cry out to the Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our faith will grow and grow when we listen to this word of God that beat every disease, I believe, clean every sin, hallelujah. This is best medication for your spirit Treat body in, in everything we are living this world. Therefore, listen, Churchy, we have to diligent 
to the read the word of God. We got to eat the word of God as a spiritual food. Amen. Can I have an amen? Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, pray the Lord. Give glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to meditate word of God that is going to give you peace, wonderful peace. You never ever experience word never give you this wonderful peace when you meditating the word of God. Hallelujah. So when he heard about the Jesus. Padimeo believed that he could receive his sight if only he could meet Jesus. And as soon as he heard that Jesus was passing by, he began to shout, Jesus, Son of God, nah. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. People called Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth. But Padimeus called Jesus, son of David, son of David. What that mean? It means that Jesus is the Messiah, <clears throat> or Jesus is the my Savior. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, we call Jesus of Messiah. Messiah, our Savior. We believe. When we are in pain, Going through the hardship, we need to cry out to the Lord as a body man. We have to, to cry out like a body man, cry out to the Jesus. And he will listen. And answer your prayer, I believe. Because Jesus listened and heard Padimeus they crying out. He healed Padimeus eyes that he opened spiritually, physically. Hmm? Oh, listen. So, many people who followed Jesus at that time, listen, and Palimeus crying out to, to, to Jesus. Many people rebuked him and told him to be quiet, shut up, don't cry out. Yeah? <laughs> Nevertheless, he did not keep quiet. He continually cried out to Jesus, Oh, son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. He healed my eyes, opened my eyes. Only I believed you going 
heal my eyes. Nobody can heal my eyes. I do believe that I honestly wait a long time. I've heard your news about you and I've heard the news that you healed every disease. I was waiting long, long time. Oh, have mercy. Pity on me. Oh, I know you're going to heal me. Jesus ever heard his prayer. His eyes opened by his cry out. We have to cry out to the Lord. Whatever we do, we have to cry out to the Lord and listen my prayer that I, my problem, my hardship I'm going through, I couldn't do that. Nothing I can do that. Only I don't believe that you are going to solve, you are fixed my problem. I am asking you, Jesus will listen and give you answer, hallelujah. We must not give up, but must not give up, but cry out to the Lord, cry out, God is going to listen, Jesus Christ going to listen to your prayer. Amen. God, God listen, Jesus Christ never stopped seeing the Padimeo who is crying out, even though the people who have followed Jesus Christ said to Padimeo, don't do that, shut up. Jesus Christ, let him speak. I want to hear what he's speaking to me. So, what Padimeo said, he threw his clock aside. He threw out his clock. He walked all the clothes, lagged clothes, very dirty clothes, and jumped to his feet, jumped to his feet, and went to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. When he heard that Jesus was calling him, he threw out his clothes, jumped to the world. When he was calling him, so, oh my. It, let, let me tell you, the clothes, his only property. <laughs> yeah. And lively food. That's all he got. But he took out, threw out to the street and went toward Jesus. You know, his cloak signifies, listen, this is my, my brother, that, that, that is very, very important matter, I, I want to tell you. His cloak only he had signifies his past, what he had been doing. He was begging on the street. He was a beggar, blind beggar. But he's no more blind beggar. It was his past, past has gone. When he met Jesus Christ, 
He became new person. He opened his eyes, which was, you know, his past, what he had been doing as a beggar, blind beggar, let me tell you, which was full of despair, poverty, hunger. But after he beat Jesus Christ, he became the new healthy person. Thank you, Lord. Pray to give him Lord. After we believe in Jesus, we need to throw the aside the clock. Listen, listen. We throw aside, put aside, put aside, I'm thinking, put aside our dirty clothes we used to wear. It, which is our old, old selves, old character, just like him. We must throw aside our clothes like stained with poverty, curse, and disease you might have. We become the new creation. We become new person, dead and healthy person. Hallelujah. Can I give witness? Yeah. No more, no more sin, no more slave of the devil. We are became the slave of Jesus Christ who we serve. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Although Jesus knew what his desire was, Jesus asked him, oh, I'm going to approach the conclusion. Jesus knew what he wanted to do. But Jesus asked the Padme, what do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do to you? He confessed, listen, listen. He confessed. I want to see. I want to see. That's what he said. He confessed it by his face. I want to see. I want to open. I want the rest of my sight. We need to confess our desire specifically. Specifically, I want to know Jesus more. I want to 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 get the, my my plan that you going to reveal. Show me my plan. I want to see it. you going to reveal to me. I want to something. I need. We have to act specifically. Jesus said, go. Go. Your face has healed you. Your face has healed you. Jesus will get his face. Hallelujah. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. The Bible said, when we march forward to have uh, to march forward to Jesus with our face, we will experience a great miracle as Padmeo did. Mm. 
I want to give you it, it, the, the world. This uh, the end. I will close my sermon. Ephesians 4, chapter 20 to 24. Also says, you were taught with regard to your formal way of life to put off, put off your old self, which is being corrupted by his deceitful desires to be made new in the attitude of your mind and to put on the new self created to be like God in true or righteousness and holiness. You became the new person. I became the new creation. And all the things is gone because Jesus Christ set you free and made good person, new person, like a Padimir, spiritually, physically, and financially. Every area, Jesus Christ blessed, Jesus Christ blessed you. Hallelujah, thank you. Don't forget next time. You don't want to miss the one I'm going to preach the next sermon. It's more and more powerful. I'm going to deliver to you. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.